Hi there, we are back again and this time we are in the Ikorodu area mm -hmm. of Lagos, Nigeria where we meet some people who are doing some wonderful things with very unique ideas. I'd like to introduce to you Sipasi Ayodele. Yeah, Thank, you. Thank you. Sipasi Ayodele's organization Protector Zone had a very brilliant idea. That's right. What they're trying to do is to show the people around here what they can do to protect our planet's atmosphere and at the same time improve food security for people living in urban areas like Lagos. So tell us, what are the support behind us doing and why? Africa is still facing hard poverty and also extreme hunger. And by the year 2050, the population of people residing in the cities will, raise, um, will increase from 55% to 66%. So we'll be having about 10 billion people in, in the world and the majority of them will be in the city. So it's very important for us to feed them. And to get them fed well, you know, we need to strategically place urban farms within the city so that people can farm very close to their houses. So that is the overview of what we're doing. Protect Ozone has been around for three years now, and it's clear that you want to stop the growing of the ozone hole. But at the same time, you're involved in urban gardening and promoting food security. How do all these issues sit together? We need what we call sustainable agriculture, and we can only achieve sustainable agriculture through urban youth participation. Um, we're actually protecting the ozone layer through the use of waste materials and also innovations like the 50% water saving irrigation kits that you, you saw here. You get the youth to be a part of this. Do you pay them or induce them? And where does your funding come from? Well, um, the youth are so passionate. I mean, one of the greatest resources we have in Africa is our manpower, not only to grow food in the urban centers, but we're actually opening them up to opportunities. You know, we have our teams that have attended Young African Leaders initiatives and stuff like that. So we create opportunities for them. And as touching our funding, we get a little fund from international organizations to help fight extreme hunger and food security in the grassroots. The food security of a nation is the national security of, the, of that particular nation. So if we are talking about insecurity in our country, we need to go and produce more food to get people secured. So what we're seeing around here really is a lot of commitment and there's no doubt that the participants here want to see the results. So how do you measure your success? One of our participants has about um, four city farms, you know, not in a particular location, about four city farms in different locations, you know, in Lagos State. So that is um, a success to us and we have been getting testimonies that we have one of our participants that is actually financing his education from growing food in the city. And we also have... Um, some farms do contact us that they need competent people on their farm so they can actually trust us to produce competent people to actually be on their farms for more food production. So what's next? <laughs> well, um, currently we've affected a, a bit over 7,500 lives. So we want to go beyond that, you know. Um, and in the year 2018, we're actually looking at um, um, opening up a thousand urban farms that is backyard farms in the city. And also, um, this our facility, we're actually looking forward to, to the completion of the facility, whereby we have full modules of sustainable agriculture as being practiced in the cities. So that is what um, we are actually aiming to achieve. Right. Yeah. Well done. All the best yeah. with that. Thank you. Thank you for coming <laughs> once again.